Hey everybody, it's me, KRB, and today I am here uh, in Minecraft. Now it's 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 been a it's been a fair bit of time since I have played Minecraft. I know I say that about pretty much everything that I play, but it, it is true. But I was just remembering that one time when I decided to go back and play all of my very old Minecraft worlds, and I thought, you know, that was that was a pretty good time. And there are still like 600 of them that I have not explored, so I've decided to go back to these ancient realms and explore them. Once again, I will give you guys some fair warning, two very important things to remember before we even start this. Number one, a lot of these worlds are probably corrupted and will probably crash me because they haven't been played in six years. Number two, a larger portion of these worlds are probably just a massive crater in the ground because for some unknown reason as a, as a child I was just fascinated with any mod that added in bombs and I would just go into a world blow something up and then leave so that's probably gonna be a significant portion of these but we'll we'll check them out so this world is called coffee but it's spelled wrong oh boy oh boy something is going on here I have 20 seconds to to do something before before all of my effects just run out. Everything is lagging and I don't know why. That appears to be all this world is, just potion effects and nothing else. This one was called More Recipes. We have village here, nice, uh, nice looking village. We have horses and we have massive command block amalgamation. And of course, a single detonation crater here. I don't know what I blew up. So this needs some explanation. I, I can I can immediately tell that this is old without even looking at the world date because nowadays the command blocks have this this very handy little feature where you can set them to repeat. And before that, there was a technique you could do where you could have a a, a uh, block of redstone that was being constantly replaced by a block of stone. And even before that, you had a a little. Uh, uh, repeater clock. This was before any of that. This is just my crappy little like like five redstone torch clock that was incredibly slow and I used it for uh, everything. Spawn egg creator. Classic, classic item. Everyone knows uh, about the spawn egg creator. All right, now this one's a classic. Uh, the name of this world is Christmas and uh, its its last play date is in August. Yeah, and these also take an obscenely long time to load. Oh, Never mind. I'm noticing a, a bit of a theme here. Uh, I, I seem to spawn into worlds with an obscene amount of potion effects and items. I have a creeper mask, not a creeper head, a creeper mask. What is Maximizer T? I see this everywhere. It shows up in every single one of these worlds and I don't know what it is. I think it's like some kind of potion that I made in, in too many items and I just, I just have it, it just exists. And of course, I have a bunch of enchanted sticks. Yeah, that's about it, I guess, for this world. This one is called Super Minecraft Bros. Oh, we got another command block world. We got another one. Remove charm. Don't ask me what that means. I don't know. This is obviously something I made. I thought this was going to be like... I don't know, some crap that I downloaded, but no, this is something I made. There's a lot of consistent themes here. You know, you got, you got a chest full of random items really stupid enchanted things, a lot of command blocks everywhere, and sometimes explosions. And what is that? This was like something I saw on YouTube, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And so I decided <laughs> to make my own version of it. If you press this button, it fires this guy at you. But because the world is so laggy, it just, this pig is named Was Up. Ultra Combo. <laughs> All right, Ultra Combo. That, was, that sheep doesn't have a name. A stone wall with a button. The syntax in this is broken, but if I were to press the button, it would have, I mean, in like version 1.8 or whatever this was made, it would have healed me and then insulted me for getting healing. Villagers, every, this is damage. This is always damage everywhere in every world I've ever made. There's obscene levels of damage. There's some of the perpetrators of the damage right there. Of course I made an end portal. What kind of world would this be if I didn't make an end portal? This world is called ACTUALLY, and it's in all caps. I I'm, I'm kind of scared because I saw a world above this that was called Rival Rebels. And for those of you who don't know, Rival Rebels was a uh, basically a weapon of mass destruction mod. It just added in like nuclear bombs and Tesla guns and, and rocket launches and things like that. And I know that I caused a serious amount of damage with that mod. So I, I'm kind of afraid to, to load that world. I, I swear, I have to do like forensics whenever I open one of these worlds because it's, I never have any explanation of what I was doing. So I have to like 
piece it together based on what's in my inventory and what is around me. Okay, we're gonna do it. Rival Rebels, let's go. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna turn around and when I turn around, I don't know what I'm gonna see. It's pretty normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I bet you guys have never seen a crater this big before, huh? Yeah, okay, this is probably the SAR bomb. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that this was the SAR bomb, because I don't think a regular nuke is this big. It's funny that I spawned in looking at, at this area, which is fairly normal, actually. And then you just turn around, and it's hell. And then you just have this one tiny little village. It's like a fallout shelter to protect from the massive explosion on the other side. Villager, do you have any idea what you just survived? There's some, some, some minor stuff happened here. I'm not sure what this is. Probably rocket launcher. There's just a lot of worlds that are just going to be nuclear fallout. This one is called Minecraft Craft. Okay. Um, am I looking up or down? I'm looking down. Hole in the ground. Two diamond swords. What was I doing? Oh, this was a desert temple. Oh, I think this was right when Elytra and dual wielding came out. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold a, two swords and have an Elytra. This one was called D's, as in, I'm assuming, as in D's nuts. I could be wrong, but considering this was made in like early 2016, I'm thinking it probably is. Okay, uh, that one, that one crashed. That one was the first crash of the day. D's, D's just, my computer could not handle the power of D's. This one is called Fight Me. Okay, okay, um, um, there's a lot to unpack with this one. There appears to be a, a, uh, one armor stand man shooting another armor stand man in the back, which is very sad, you know, this is truly unfortunate. But other than that, we have, um, Redstone Hut, and then we have, Massive holes, of course. Oh, and of course we have a pillar here. What would the world be without a meaningless pillar? This one was called Yes with like four S's. Okay. Okay. This looks like a survival world. Neutering cats. <laughs> I have a book by my by me called Neutering Cats. And there is a cat right in front of me and his name is Apple. It's just a diary. It's a diary of of cats. Honestly, I don't know. I just don't know. What's in here? Nothing. Note block. I just have cats and I, I live in a hole in the ground where I wrote a book about neutering cats. <laughs> and what's with all this stuff in the inventory? Was this a survival world, but I went into creative? This one is called Creepy and that's it. It's just called Creepy. Survival world warning, warning. Absolutely nothing going on. Nothing in my inventory. Nothing built. Nothing is happening. This is a nothing world. There is just nothing. This one is called burned, but as always, it is spelled wrong. This looks like something. Could it, a, a world that it actually has some substance to it. <laughs> I I have it. <laughs> the stick of getting dunked on. I, I might I might actually be able to fix the syntax here. If I can fix the syntax, this might actually do work. I think I remember what this was supposed to do, and it was actually something really cool. Press the button. Yes! Flood. Okay, that's that's something. At least, oh, man. I can't I can't leave. But at least this world is something. It's not just like a big hole in the ground and nothing else. I think this this is like mid-2016. This is like the period when I started actually doing stuff and not just going into worlds and, and screwing around. This one is called Hostile Testing Chambers. Now, the reason that's strange is because I, I swear to God, there are multiple worlds with this name. I guess I just thought it sounded really cool. I think I stole it from somewhere. I don't know. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. There's a lot to unpack here. Red shield. Oh, and I, I just got it. My game just froze. Yeah, that one, uh, that one crashed. But I'm not done. I want to know what was in that world. I want to know. Because I saw things that I feel like I shouldn't have seen, and I want to see them again. And it crashed again. Okay, you know what? I'm... <laughs> I, I, I don't care. It was, it's not that important to me. I just really wanted to see what the deal was with the diamonds. This one is called Shop. I don't, I don't see the shop. All I see is limitless void in all directions. Is this it? Is this the shop? 
the aforementioned shop because if it is oh man I have never seen a shop such as this I, I am certain that this is something I made because I love uh, I love whatever I forgot what kind of wood this is uh, spruce wood yeah I love spruce wood it is an underground shop apparently with uh, what is it a, a skeleton this is my customer for my shop I'm gonna I'm gonna welcome him in to the shop and then here's what I'm gonna do ready ready I got it all planned out in my head I go in I welcome him and I'm just like lamp oil rope bombs you want it it's yours my friend as long as you have enough rupees and then um, and then he's gonna he's gonna buy things and then that's my sales pitch you see that'll uh, encourage him to buy anyway I'm going back into my store my shop excuse me my shop and I, I, I know we just looked at shop, but this one is called store. So hopefully it'll be something different. Oh my God, is this it? Is this the store? It doesn't really look like it, but I'm, I, with, in the absence of literally anything else, I'm guessing that this is probably the aforementioned store. I don't know what I was doing, but apparently this, this perfectly fine village just deserved to be completely demolished by this wall. Oh, there's villagers. I, okay, so apparently I brought the villagers inside my fortress. Uh, hold on. So what did I do? I, oh, I built, I put like, like andesite or whatever this is around a church, one of those church buildings. That's what I did. I guess I just wanted to, to have a, a, a church that was like very heavily defended. There's bars on the windows and it's just surrounded by a giant wall. What is this? What is this? Oh my god, uh, apparently if the villagers are being insubordinate, you can make them walk the plank into the, into the lava pit and they will burn. Oh, I was, I was, see, I was making like a, a nuclear bomb shelter stockpile. So we got music discs, snowballs, blah, oh, tools, of course. But yeah, okay, I, I understand now. This is probably the most interesting thing I've seen so far. I guess the rest of the village didn't really fare so well. <laughs> this one is just called Great. I want to see if it lives up to that uh, to that title. I think this is it. I have resistance five, which means I won't take any damage at all. I feel like I should point out this is like a five minute time between me finding a world and me booting it up because they take so long to boot up. Now this one, this one is called Secret. Holy crap, it's actually something. Oh my God, I remember this. Okay, okay, okay. This is the trick. They're hidden somewhere in the floor here. Yeah, there it is, okay. The trick here was that like, I had it set up so that when you put the items in a certain configuration, this would open. Now the command syntax is almost certainly broken by this point. It sucks that most of my commands are busted because I had a lot of really cool command block things. Just keep going down, you know, you just you go down, you just go down, yeah, you, and now you're down. And now, it had a functional light system which I thought was really cool. And then you go over here, and I don't, danger high voltage. I don't remember what this did. It did something, you know. It's a grand mystery of what these things actually do. What do you do? Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I cracked the code. I cracked the code. Press this. No. Wait, hold on. No, frick. Oh, there's no button. There's no button to get out. I gotta fix this. All right. I, I, I figured it out. What, what was supposed to happen is, and, and I'm remembering this on the spot. This is just a wall, and you go in here. I don't know. You press this button. And it, the wall slides back. Okay, and then this button also does something, but I don't know what it does. There is this world called Five Nights at Freddy's Space Prison, and I wanted, I want to open it, but I, I somehow don't want to open it. This one is called Army. I'm guessing I was trying to make some sort of army. Oh, this might be a winner here. What was this one called again? Oh my God. Okay, what was this called? Oh my god, okay, there is a lot to unpack. What was this world called? I, I, I missed it. Oh my god, I'm so glad I did not, like, pass up on this one. A hole with a husk. A hole with a zombie. This is like a, a, uh, a little pond of gold. The infinite brick highway. I don't know how I built this, I don't know why I built this. And it goes on for a very long time. Oh my god. Is it- 
no, this is not the end. It just keeps going. And I forgot to mention, of course, you gotta have the massive crater in the ground. It wouldn't be one of my worlds if it did not have a massive crater in the ground. And then we just got this thing, which just goes up. I didn't even, I didn't even look at what we got here. I mean, we got like extreme, a pig named extreme that can only be placed on diamond. Probably the most interesting world that I have found as of yet. This one is called server world and then question mark. Oh boy. Oh boy. Missile silo apparently is what we have here. I, 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 I actually do remember making this. Uh, it, it, it has some um, fully functional opening and closing uh, launch bay doors. Watch this. I think, yeah, red button opens. Uh, or at least it should if the, if the server stops lagging. Yeah, okay, I remember, I remember doing this. It was really fun actually. And then if I remember correctly, I was trying to make, oh yeah, this was like an authentication room that would only activate if you did a certain thing. That's probably broken by now. And then I was, I was trying to make some kind of launch system. I had this, this was, this was my like targeting computer and you would input the code here. But I, I do love that my uh, my quote unquote server world is literally just, what, it's just a missile silo and that's it. I, I, I'll, I'll give you guys a demonstration of what this was supposed to do. And and it did do it for, for the longest time it worked because you know, command syntax, but then of course it, it doesn't work anymore. Well, what was supposed to happen is that you would come in here, all right, you'd start walking and then automatically like right around this area, this would happen and you'd be like oh what was that you know it was a little little glitch and then you come out and it would be this massive like thing like this is supposed to be some kind of meeting room or something like that you know and it's supposed to look really cool and then you go back and it's like oh you know I'm making my way back and then you start going back you know you stop right about here and then it would automatically do that nothing would happen but then you would come out and it's a shed so that was the idea that was the initial idea behind the the, uh, the, the maze shed no longer works, unfortunately. Thank you, Mojang. Thank you. I vaguely remember this world, and I think this was one of my testing worlds, which were probably the ones that had the most, like, interesting stuff because they were just me screwing around with everything. And if this is one of them, it's going to be very interesting, but I guess we're about to find out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is, um, we got, first we have, like, the, the brawl of the century going on over here. Uh, yeah. In here, what was this? Zo probably a zombie spawner. This, yeah, zombie spawner. Uh, that's, that's 100% what that is. And then we, just, it's just like, like, zombie throwdown. And then, what was this? What's this thing? A clone, a clone thing? Okay. What's the, I, I, apparently I killed an ender dragon here. Okay, great. Um, of course, we have the, the massive hole in the ground. I mean, it, it wouldn't be complete without that. There is fire everywhere, and it's not going out. It's just forever burning. There are stacks of pigs literally everywhere. I mean, th look, the, the stack of pigs, all these stacks of pigs just, just crowding the area. There is a giant H made of wood. There is a, like, testing platform or something something like that. I don't know. And in half of it, it's snowing. And in half of it, it's raining. And then... And then... <laughs> and then up here... Uh... What is this? A Mario? Mario head and it's on fire? Armor stand? I haven't even checked my inventory. Oh my god. Mjolnir. Apparently, I have Thor's hammer here and it just does that. This is a spectacular world to end this off on because this is just pure chaos. There's one fire. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A second explosion hole. The iron golems are still just throwing down with every mob that they can find. Um, on this, on this bombshell, I would like to thank you guys, uh, for tuning in to watch me explore ancient realms in Minecraft, beat the crap out of some iron golems, and just overall, uh, be very confused um i guess if you guys would like to see more of this i don't know why you would but if you would like to see more please let me know and i will see what i can do and um with that out of the way i will see you guys next time yeah peace out brothers